Uh, we're not going to bother with this. We we struggled with that before. When we did this, configure advanced email settings. Um, it goes and it during the installation process, you enter your email address and you enter your um, SMT server for scanning to to uh, to email. But this is um, um, your email address book right here. Here's your email settings your email account uh, you can enter your name your uh, default subject line a default body uh, whether you want to copy or not <clears throat> so when you use scan to email and this will be your local address book and you can select from uh, the phone book on the device as well uh, if, if you have um, contacts already entered in there Scan the network folder settings. Uh, this is nice. You can uh, set scan to send scans to network folders for uh, the image management purposes, and we, it takes us to the home page, printer home page. <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>
<coughs> now we're just pulling a scan to the to this PC, and uh, it tells us to load the document in the scanner, access the profile. That, uh, Go over and touch the scan button. So let me go over and touch the scan button. The control panel is blank. Uh, it should have woken up when I put the original in there, but it didn't. Actually, the, now I have to wait. Okay. It says uh, access the pro profile, press scan. And then I have to select from the scan profile. It's like a briefcase. I look down and it says scan Twain scan 01 and I select that and the scanning commences automatically. So that means you can set up your scans from here and then go over and retrieve them at the at the device rather than standing over there and doing the settings over there. Uh it wants to save it in our default folder. So let's save it there. We said to make an OCR it, but um, I don't see anything happening. The OCR program should have opened, but nevertheless, we should have. We we one of five images. Um, not sure why there's five images. Oh. I must open the folder instead of the document. So let me do it again. It's still saying one of five. It's trying to show all the. Now, this was supposed to be a duplex scan, but as you can see, and it didn't OCR. So, as you can see, here's the scan. I, I must have done something wrong. Um, we can do this and try it again and see what happens. It should open up in. Um, Abbey Fine Reader. Okay, and I don't have to enter anything because I'm using a, a default. I don't want to cancel it. Got to go over here and select. It automatically popped up on the screen this time. I didn't have to. Didn't have to touch the scan button. It's scanning now. It's showing me a nice graphic on the control panel, and it's showing me a picture of the document going to the computer. And I just did scan profile one again and I should do should have done scan profile two so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna cancel this one okay it's receiving well this is really fast it's getting over here super fast now it should go into the OCR program uh, or no I actually automatically converted it to a rich text format without going into the OCR program which is nice convenient it's uh, converting it now in the background it should show up over here actually I don't see it anywhere yet. No, oh, it's the uh, the drive light is still blinking, so it's doing the conversion right now in the background. And when it's done, it'll show end up in this folder here. This is stuff left over from the Top Shot HP Top Shot re uh, review we did. It's on our website. That was a lot of fun messing around with that.
I'm still waiting for this OCR to complete. <clears throat> Oh, in the meantime, let, let's go back and see. Uh, I'll see it's converting the pages, and uh, it seemed to be waiting for us to open this little window. And it was just sitting there, it didn't seem to be doing anything until we popped open this. Gas gauge here. All right, so here the um, document opened up in. RTF, rich text text format. Let's see what it looks like. It's going to open up in Microsoft Word. Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right, and this was in Spanish. Or French, and uh, it looks pretty clean because the spell checker obviously isn't set for. It, it couldn't have possibly um, done an entire French translation without any typos. But you can see now I can go in and change and edit this document, uh, and I only have one page. I asked it to scan both, but. Mistakes happen. Might have been my fault. Okay, so that's that's basically it. Enough time with the software. I mean, it's pretty easy to use. There isn't a there's there's a lot of stuff over here, but really you don't need much of it. You only find yourself actually using probably this printer home and everything else. That's a you know basically one use it one or two times set up or or troubleshoot. Um, you can also scan. You can also scan without using the um, solution center or the home page, whatever they call it, whatever they call it, by doing this, going into an application and doing not doing that going from scanner or camera and you can scan directly into an application this is in the same option in word photoshop uh acrobat full i mean just any application worth its salt you can you can use the twain driver to access the scanner so and you get that same Twain driver that we were just looking at about five minutes ago. So that's it. I spent way too much time on this. Thanks for watching.